Hey everyone, welcome to another Fog of Gore painting tutorial where I'm going to show you how I paint heat damage on the weapons of my miniatures such as the flamethrowers, plasma guns, meltas and uh, even the Gatling cannon on my dreadnought. I'm using just three paints for this technique and no difficult things such as glazing or wet blending. Here are a few pictures of the results we're going for in this video. These minis are part of my Grimdark Ultramarines army and they have the effects that I was talking about. You can see the eradicators here and then here the aggressors with flamethrowers and here is my dreadnought. If you want to see how I painted the whole dreadnought and how I did the base, I have a video for that one on my channel and I'll link it here in the card up above in the screen now. So for this video I'm going to use the Dreadnought as an example because it has a large Gatling cannon and it makes it easy to explain what I'm doing. I'm first painting the metal undercoat for this weapon in lead belcher and then wash it with non oil. I really like the lead belcher for this effect especially because it's a very dull metal and it isn't shiny at all. So when that's done I start with Balthasar gold. This is an orangey or kind of reddish gold paint that is great for this heat damage effect. Starting from the tip of the barrel, I paint about 80% of the surface in this color. And make sure you get some decent coverage with this paint. You might want to do two layers to be sure. Then, I paint about 50% of the surface with a very transparent purple. In this case, I'm using Contrast Magos Purple but I think you could use Druki Violet shade as well if that's what you have in house already. I applied two coats of this just to get a bit more coverage over the gold underneath. And then all you need to do is add some soot to the tip of the barrel. For this I'm using a batten black and I'm dabbing and dry brushing it on the end and I cover about 10 to 20 percent of the barrel with this. Because you're dry brushing and dabbing it on, you'll get a bit of a dusty look that's perfect to simulate soot. And that's all there is to this simple effect. I'll repeat the ratios of the paints. So starting from the tip of the barrel, I paint about 80% in Balthasar Gold, then about 50% in Contrast Magos Purple, and then about 20% in Abaddon Black. You're of course free to mess around with these ratios as you wish. And here's a picture of one of my aggressors. And you can see that the heat shield around this flamer is almost completely covered with the effect. I didn't leave much lead belcher visible. And this is because I, I would guess a flamer would get more damage than a melter gun or a Gatling cannon when you overuse it. And so that's how I paint the heat damage on flamethrowers and other weapons on my miniatures. Yes, you can get more stunning effects if you glaze on 15 layers of 5 different colors. But I don't have time for that. I want to get my models on the table and play some Warhammer. And this way you get the effect and you don't have to spend hours and hours on your miniatures. If you like this sort of quick technique video then please click that like button and subscribe for more. I also have a Patreon and a website with more content. I'll put a link to those in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.